Hi everybody and welcome to Why Buy. Today we're going to be talking about getting a degree from McCune University. Yeah, so uh, I'm originally from Calgary and when I was looking at going to university, pretty much immediately I decided I wanted to be out of Calgary for my degree. I kind of wanted to try living in a new city. So my options were either Edmonton or Lethbridge because I knew I wanted to stay in Alberta. So I began looking around and eventually I came across McEwen. It kind of had everything I was looking for, the right major and the right degree, uh, smaller class sizes which is definitely a bonus compared to some of the larger universities. Uh, as well as really good uh, community uh, culture around campus and it would just seem very different than anything I was used to living in Calgary. Most of the application process was done online. Uh, even I had a few uh, transfer credits from SAIT, so even transferring those over was all done online, very easy to do. I'm in the Bachelor of Commerce program with a major in Supply Chain Management. I also did the Cooperative Education program. So. Part of the application process for this degree was high school marks. Uh, I believe when I applied it was a minimum of 65 to 70% on high school grades. Uh, however, it is a competitive program, so the higher GPAs will uh, be selected. Uh, when I originally decided to go to McEwen for school, uh, I knew I had to move to Edmonton from Calgary. So I started looking around at the different apartments, and of course they have the residence here, which you saw. And uh, it was a fairly easy decision. Uh, the accommodations there are great, uh, definitely cheaper than anything in the area, given w the, what you're able to get. All right, so yeah, they got the kitchen here. Um, good sink. Uh, they get just enough countertops so you can have a, um, uh, basically just an oven, small little oven. Uh, you get two burners, so one small one, it's good for cooking soup, and then a little bit bigger one for, you know, if you're cooking up some eggs or whatever. And then this is a two bedroom suite, so two bedrooms, so it's actually nice you do get your own private space, which is definitely a bonus for living here. Uh, comes with a desk, a bed, and if we come in, you can see uh, kind of a place just to store everything like clothes, textbooks, all that. And then on your left, there's the, uh, the washroom, so it's very just pretty standard. Quite small, but serves its purpose. Yeah. Oh, and a shower. And a shower, yeah, the shower's behind the door. Where are my keys? Honestly, it is a pretty safe uh, building. I do leave my door unlocked sometimes. I've never had an issue. But uh, can never be too careful, right? So here we have one of the social lounges. So um, here are the whole different, uh, different events. There's also a TV in here that you can watch. I, they do have cable as well as uh, it works as a very good study area. Uh, this is the fifth floor. There's 12 student floors in the building and the top floor is also a hotel. So if you have anybody coming to Edmonton that needs a hotel, you, they can stay here so they're nice and close. And one of the nice places about this hotel is that they have the Ice District, which is just down 104th, which is that road behind that building. And then there's the Rogers Center, a bunch of really great restaurants and bars that you can go to. Yeah, it's always a good time to go hang out down there, have a few drinks and meet some girls or just meet some cool people, you never know. Uh, this is uh, one of the orientation week, so they host this every fall, and it's just uh, different events that um, university residents can do, kind of get to know each other, and kind of get a good start in the new year. So yeah, we'll go um, go over to Allard Hall next. So this building right here is Allard Hall. It's the home of the Fine Arts Music Theatre Program. So we'll go take a walk through there right now. And one of the nice things about the McEwen residence is uh, they have these pedways. So you can go all the way from building 11, which is Allard Hall, all the way down through the heart of the Robin and then down into the other buildings. So you can effectively walk out inside all the way down campus, which is really nice during the winter. Let's go take a look inside. Yeah, I believe there's uh, six floors to this building and all right. So you can see it's very open, very kind of modern building. It's kind of what you expect for the, uh, the art program. 
don't know what it is, actually. Like I said, it's modern art building. It uh, doesn't have to make sense. So as you can see on this side, we've got a few different uh, restaurants. I highly recommend Marco's. They make fantastic burgers. Uh, it's open late too, which is very nice, especially if you're coming home you know, after a party or something. Uh, down at Oliver, there's also uh, Safeway and a few other kind of fast food. There's also some, some better restaurants if you're looking to do more of a dine-in type thing, as well as there's a few banks and don't really need a car, no. Uh, everything that you need to kind of get by is in, within walking distance. And it's a really great campus for that because uh, it's kind of a very self-sufficient kind of area that you can live in. So now we're going to go, uh, we're going to go up onto the second floor of this building and then we're going to start walking down the campus and we'll give you a presentation of all the different buildings, what their purpose is, and some of the things you'll find there. I have no idea. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a business student, not a theater major. Actually, if we come up here, if we come up here, there's something we can show you. These are study rooms where you can collaborate with your teammates uh, on group projects. They're really useful because they have whiteboards. They also have uh, a TV in there, as you can see, which is good for when you're running through presentations or running through other group work. All right, so as you can see behind me, this is the kind of the courtyard for the CUNY University residents. Uh, it's so quiet right now because we're right in between the summer semester and fall semester of 2021. So uh, a couple weeks from now, it'll be a lot busier. So when I, actually, when I first came to McEwen, this was one of the first buildings I walked through. And okay. so this is the nursing building where all the uh, medical studies is. Uh, yeah, I came very excited and a little bit nervous too, right? Because moving away for the first time, it can be a bit nerve wracking. But I uh, definitely found a home here, especially you know in Edmonton, I met a lot of my new friends. All right, so now we're heading into the new student union building as well as the rec center for McEwen University. So yeah, you can basically walk from the residence all the way down to wherever your classes are in the campus. Uh, usually, you know, if it's a nice you know, spring or summer day, rather walk outside, but in the winter, absolutely the way to go. All right, so uh, let's uh, just come back here a little bit so we can get the, uh, yeah. Uh, so that's the McEwen University Health Center, and they provide different health services for students as well as uh, different consultations as they need. For the student council and uh, the different clubs for McEwen University, you have a meeting place so they can have their organization set it up, and they have an actual designated place for it now. Uh, yeah, I actually haven't seen it up there yet, so you want to go take a look? It's quiet because it looks like some people are studying, but uh, so yeah, it seems like it's mostly just study area. All right, so now we're gonna be walking into the rec center for McEwen University. I took quite a few final exams in this gym. They bring up a bunch of tables and you sit with maybe four or 500 other people writing exams, especially in your junior years. And then on this side, uh, we have the pool as well as the fitness center in the back. All right, so this is building seven. This is where most of the academics are for the arts, the business program as well as science. Yeah, so you can definitely rent lockers. You can see some of them have locks on them. Uh, I don't remember how much they are, but it's quite cheap. Um, and you can rent them for as long as you want. So you can rent them for a month, or you can rent them for the whole year. So it's very useful to have if, you're, uh, if you know all of your classes are going to be in one building. You can have your textbooks there and kind of keep some stuff there. I believe the, uh, the library is actually under renovations right now, or just finishing up. Yeah, they're trying to modernize it a little bit. Put in some more technology, uh, more computer labs, and yeah. Uh, one thing about the McEwen campus too, it used to be a, was a CN, yeah, CN rail yard, uh, CN rail donated to McEwen and they built, a, built the whole campus on. So this is one of the main entrances for McEwen University. It is very iconic uh, and then it leads into the cafeteria as well as the staircase just inside leads to the library. So yeah, this is the cafeteria and also behind me is Towers, the campus pub. All right, so this is pretty much the end of the campus. Uh, the last building that we have over this way is building five. All right, let's walk inside. All right, yeah, obviously they're doing uh, some construction here. So this is where the CN Theater is, as well as a lot of different classrooms. So as you can see behind me, there is Rogers Place. So if you want to catch a hockey game or go see a concert, that's the place to do it. Oh, one other interesting thing about um, Building 5 is they have a bee colony up on the roof, or at least they did back in 2018, last time I was actually in class here. And yeah, no, it was really cool. You could see lots of bees flying around. You see all people in like the beekeeper outfit walking out and 
doing stuff with the colony. So another hidden gem about McEwen's business program is their business abroad. So in 2019, I went on a business um, study trip with, I think it was about 10 other people, and we went to Vienna, Budapest, and Prague for two weeks. And while we were there, we got to see a lot of uh, the different businesses that operate in those countries, as well as we got to go to one of the embassies and talk with the trade commissioner for that country, which was Austria. So we definitely got to learn a lot about the international business uh, side of things, and it was a really great experience, and I also got credits for it. Yeah. Yeah, I got some machines over here. <sighs> All right, so yeah, for parking, you have a, di a couple different options. So as being a resident here at the uh, the residence, uh, you'll actually give it a prorated rate. Uh, it's around $100 a month, which is pretty good for the area considering we are in downtown Edmonton. Uh, it's a gravel lot, but there, you also have some options of underground heated parking as well as the uh, parking structure, which is behind me, which is semi-enclosed, but also still kind of outside. Anyway, the, uh, the parking is quite secure. I've never had an issue. Uh, with break-ins or anything, and it is fairly affordable. Uh, the standard uh, fees for the Bachelor of Commerce program is around 3500 a semester, which is fairly reasonable given um, considering what you get for it, which would include access to the f this facility, as well as access to all the student clubs and teaching resources, the library, everything. Actually, one of the reasons I, I mean, I basically crossed U of A off my list right away was because the degree program there for the Bachelor of Commerce is a three-year program. So the way it works is when you go to apply, you go into basically the arts program first, and you take a bunch of courses, and then you go into the Bachelor of Commerce program. Um, and the difference between that and McEwen is McEwen is a direct entry right from high school. You don't have to have any university courses to get into the Bachelor of Commerce program. One of the great things about university in general is you get to try a bunch of different things early on and kind of see what you like and also what you're good at because you know, there's something to be said for being good at what you do and universities kind of figure out where you find out what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are, and then you can kind of plan in parts of your life, especially your you know, career around what you like and what you're good at. So my favorite thing about my degree was the cooperative education program. The reason for this is because I was able to get my degree and get real uh, work placements while I was doing it. So if you thought this video was useful, like and subscribe, show your support, and thanks for watching. Is it? $30. Yeah, it's ridiculous. What? Yeah. Four bucks for an energy drink. <laughs> it's gonna be the best Coca Cola ever. It won't be. <sighs> yeah, I don't, I don't get that either. I like. Okay, I don't know what you're doing. Looks suspicious. So yeah, definitely get your uh, coffee from Tim Hortons unless you're. One of those animals that makes it from home, from instant. Yeah, just right across the street. Sure. Sure, sure. See if security comes and kicks us out. You know, they put a bunch of art around campus and I got no idea what it is, but it all just seems to be like metal stuff. This for any uh, students out there that, that are taking a course and they're not doing well. At a certain point, you gotta cut your losses and uh, take the W, the withdrawal. It's, uh, sucks, but it happens to a lot of students, including myself. One of the reasons it's important to withdraw rather than fail is because it doesn't affect your transcript. So if you fail, you get the F on your transcript, you get a 0.0, .0 which will definitely drag down your uh, GPA. Yeah, the university puts out some stuff, but of course they're going to tell you how great it is, which I think I've also said it's quite great, and I stand by that, but uh, pieces of art statue that they have around Edmonton, that one of the ones I actually only like. And uh, the name of it is Mother Bear Praise for Healing Earth. For Earth Healing. Yeah, 6570. I have no idea what it is like now, though. Flowers? Pretty flowers? I have no idea, dude. I don't really remember. Um, honestly, it was, it was more the stone pillars. I thought, like, oh, wow, that, uh, that all looks classy. I'm going to go to McEwen just for those. No, I'm the business program. What so. kind of laboratories well, are like, you looking for? Well, just like, um, or like where to pick up textbooks. Textbooks would be the, uh, the bookstore. Bookstore. Yeah, it's just down oh, there on the right. Yeah. We're yeah. Almost there. Okay. Almost there. Thank you. Definitely need a haircut.